Oh, my dear lady, how no. very nice to meet you. Do come in. Now, won't you come and sit down? Now, <laughs> right. Um, uh, would you get Miss Morehouse a cup of tea? Or, or is it Mrs. Morehouse? Is my marital status really your concern? Uh, no, 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 no. It's just that you know, I was just uh, really worried about the, whether the. Uh, uh, would you get uh, you know her a cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> now, what should I call you, Mrs. Morehouse? <laughs> you can call me Agnes. What Agnes. should I call you? Um, well, you didn't call me Sir Humphrey. <laughs> oh, my dear lady. I'm not your dear lady. Don't patronise me and cut out the sexist crap, OK? <laughs> uh, OK, Agnes. Uh, uh, now, the reason I wanted us to have this little meeting was because I wanted us to try and understand one another. Basically, I'm sure we're in agreement. Really? Yeah, well, obviously you have your own views about how Britain should be run, but I'm sure we agree on a fundamental basis of order and authority. That's half true. Half true? You agree, I don't. <laughs> but it's obvious. It's obvious if you've got it made under the present system, then you want to use authority to preserve your privileges. But what about the homeless? What about the unemployed? What about the poor people? Oh, yes, yes, I know all about them. <laughs> <laughs> really? What do you know? Well, I've read all the published papers. I've seen all the statistics. I've read all the official reports. Believe me, dear lady, Agnes, dear, I... I... <laughs> I do know all about them. Fine. What does half a pound of margarine cost? <laughs> what does half a pound of margarine cost? Oh, um, how should I know? Um, 20p. 20p? Well, two pound 40, I don't know. Right. Why should you? What time do Social Security offices open? How long can you run a one-bar fire with 50 pence in the meat? I'm not entirely sure I follow. Of course you don't. If you knew that sort of thing, you wouldn't agree about using authority to support the system. Look, look, I do understand. I do sympathise. It'd be marvellous if there's no poverty, but we just don't have the resources to achieve that. Who hasn't? The nation. Really? Does this desk belong to the nation? <sighs> this china? Porcelain. <laughs> These portraits? Or are they your own? Of course not. The government property. Oh, good. They should fetch about, what, 80,000? That should keep 20-odd one-parent families for a year. Then what about your salary? That has nothing to do with it. Good. <laughs> then we'll have that, too. <laughs> Leave you £100 a week. That's 70,000 a year for the needy. Look, my salary is merely part of a complex economic structure. Good. We'll simplify it. After all, you don't want to make a profit out of serving your country, do you? <laughs> ah, tea. <laughs> Over here, I think. Uh, oh, very nice. Thank you so much. Uh, shall I be mother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, tell me, um, Agnes, <laughs> this policy of yours uh, of um, only allowing free-range eggs to be sold in your borough, how does this help poverty? Animals have rights too, you know. A battery chicken's life isn't worth living. Would you want to spend your life packed in with 600 other desperate, squawking, smelly creatures, unable to breathe fresh air, unable to move, unable to stretch, unable to think? Certainly not. That's why I never stood for Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 